We have a very special guest at the studio today for a very special announcement. So hello, Thomas, welcome. Thanks for having me. We've been working on this feature for a while. And for the last couple of months, there's been a closed beta group that's had access to it. But today we're rolling it out to all pro users. It's called AI Extensions, and it's a brand new way to interact with the thousands of extensions that are already available in the store. So since we launched Raycast, developers built thousands of extensions, ranging from linear over Notion to Zoom. And today, we're making all of them available to AI. So that means anything an extension can do can now be done with natural language. The thinking machine. We always dreamed of a future where you don't really have to learn how to use a computer. Instead, you just tell it what to do, and it does it for you. And we're going to have a difficult problem distinguishing a man from a robot. We're not quite there yet, but AI extension is really the first step towards this direction. And so today, we're making it available to users and developers to build with us this future. Thomas and I have prepared a few examples to demo the feature to you, so it's a bit easier to understand. But before we show them to you, I just want to talk about how you can find and install these extensions today. Just like with regular Raycast extensions, all you have to do is go to the store and search for what you want. you notice that some of the results will have this little star symbol next to them. That means that this extension has been enhanced with AI. And you can also use this little drop down up here to filter to only show AI extensions. As of right now, we've been working hard to prepare 50 AI extensions that are ready to use. But as we put this out, we expect more and more developers to start contributing to the ecosystem by either enhancing existing extensions or building completely new ones. Shall we show it in action? Let's do it. Let's do it. So let me show you first how you're going to use AI extensions. I'm going to open Raycast and I type in at. So here you see all the extensions that are enabled to work with AI. So in this case, let's pick Google Calendar and find some time for us next week to catch up. So now AI goes out, looks who am I, checks your contact details, checks our availability and finds a slot that works for the both of us. So here you see like we have different options and it already suggested me to book a meeting. So here I can quickly check the details and then I can confirm. So I make sure that the event doesn't go out to the wrong email address. So we keep the human in the loop when necessary. One thing which I also want to do, I want to add a Zoom link to the meeting so we can just hop on a call. So I'm going to do the same. I add mention Zoom and say, add me a meeting link to the event. So now what it does, it creates me a meeting link and then it adds it to the event. And so we're good to go for meeting next week. That's cool. Calendar events is something that I do very often. So I want to make that a bit faster. So what I did for myself, I created a meeting assistant, which is a chat preset, which is pre-configured with our AI extensions. So if I jump in here, what I can do is I can just quickly type in what I want to do and it picks up that even faster. Because it has already the context of my Google Calendar and Zoom, it does those steps now automatically. As you can see, I don't need to prompt it additionally go through it, it picks up the style, how I want to name my meetings, and I can quickly accept that and I'm good to go. So those are even less steps to do. And so the way I did that is I basically created a chat preset. So here I can add now extensions to it. So AI is aware of which apps it can talk to. And I also described how I want to have my meetings named. So for example, I like this double arrow. So I want to make it personal. So the meeting title is how I would create it. So this example is really complex, really powerful, but also quite personal, yeah. right? Because you gave this uh, preset a bunch of instructions of how you want things to be done. But are there more simple use cases that work with this as well? One of the really simple ones that I like to do is creating my focus sessions just with natural language. So similarly, I open Raycast, I type in focus, and then I say um, focus, on coding for one hour. But what I can do here as well, I can set immediately my Slack status. So my colleagues are basically in the loop and they know that I'm gonna concentrate on my work. So what's cool about this one is it does two things at once. 
So it sets me up with a focus session and automatically updates my Slack status with the same context. So I can do two things with just one little sentence. I really like the idea of being able to use multiple extensions into one action. And the cool thing about this is that you could even turn that into an AI command. Exactly. And what else can you do? So let's take it up a notch. The nice thing about Raycos, it sits on your operating system. So it integrates with all the apps you have. So here we have Cronola, which is an app that can record your meetings. And we have the transcript. So I simply select all the text here. I say, send selection to AI chat. And now I'm gonna pull in the linear AI extension and ask it to create follow-up items for me. So now AI goes out, looks up the members, the teams, and gonna create those action items for me. So the same as before, I can quickly skim if it's like to say the right assignees, and then I can just create those. That's very cool. Yes. That was cool. <laughs> All right, these are some really cool examples, but I'm very curious to see what you're going to create with AI extensions. Right now, there are thousands of extensions in the store that can be enhanced with AI, and there are countless of extensions that we haven't even thought of. To wrap this up, Thomas, what's next for AI extensions, and why don't you share with everybody what's the larger vision of this? So what you've seen today, that's just the first steps towards our bigger vision of making Raycos a truly powerful assistant that works with all the apps and tools you have. And for that, we need the help of all the developers building those AI extensions with us. It's early days and we're launching it today in beta, but we're super excited to see what you built. But also AI is unpredictable and we're gonna need your contributions and your feedback to make it reliable, fast and accurate. You see that underneath each response, you can leave your feedback and tell us whether that response was successful or unsuccessful. And they're both equally as important to us right now. All right, so Thomas, thanks for coming and announcing AI extensions to everybody. Thanks for having me here. And you can expect a couple more videos on this topic. We're gonna to make a video specifically for developers where we show you the API that you need to know in order to build these extensions, as well as a videos with more examples of how you can make the most out of AI extensions on your day-to-day. -day. As always, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel for more news and tips about Raycast.